Hello friends, I am Manoj. Welcome all to Easy McLearn channel. In this video lecture series, I am trying to explain about subject mechatronics. So let us start with what are the objectives of mechatronics. First objectives is understand key elements of mechatronics system, representation into block diagram. Second objectives is understand concept of transfer function, reduction and analysis. Third objectives is understand principles of sensors, its characteristics, interfacing with microcontroller. Fourth objectives is understand the concept of PLC system and its ladder programming, and significance of PLC systems in industrial application. Fifth objectives is understand the system modeling and analysis in time domain and frequency domain. And sixth understand control actions such as proportional, derivative and integral and study its significance in industrial applications. After completing this course one can able to understand following points. First identification of key elements of mechatronics system and its representation in terms of block diagram. Second understanding the concept of signal processing and use of interfacing systems such as analog to digital converter, digital to analog converter, digital input, output signals. Third interfacing of sensors, actuators using appropriate microcontroller. Fourth time and frequency domain analysis of system model. Fifth PID control implementation on real time systems. And sixth development of PLC ladder programming and implementation of real life system. The following content will be covering in this lecture series for Unit 1. That is Introduction to Sensors and Actuators. Introduction to Mechatronics. Elements of Mechatronics System Measurement Characteristics, Static and Dynamic. Following types of sensors we're going to discuss. Displacement sensor includes potentiometer, LVDT. Position sensors includes encoders. Proximity sensors includes inductive, capacitive. Temperature sensor includes RTD, thermocouples. Force, pressure sensors includes strain gauges. Flow sensors, electromagnetic flow sensors. Selection of sensors. Actuators, stepper motor, servo motor, solenoids. First try to understand what is mechatronics. Mechatronics is the synergistic combination of mechanical engineering, electronic engineering, and software engineering. The word mechatronics was first coined by Mr. Tetsuro Moria, a senior engineer of a Japanese company. Yaskawa. It is a multidisciplinary approach to product and manufacturing system design. It involves application of electrical, mechanical, control, and computer engineering to develop products, processes, and systems with greater flexibility, ease in redesign, and ability of reprogramming. Mechatronics can also be termed as replacement of mechanics with electronics or enhance mechanics with electronics with the help of microelectronics and sensor technology mechatronics systems are providing high levels of precision and reliability today's domestic washing machines are intelligent and four-wheel passenger automobiles are equipped with safety installations such as airbags, parking, proximity, sensors, anti-theft electronic keys etc. A mechatronics system integrates various technologies involving first technology is sensors and measurement systems, second technology is drives and actuation systems, like mechanical or pneumatics or hydraulics systems. 
Third technology is controlling system and software engineering. Like microprocessor, microcontroller slash PLC. How system works. Power input is given to actuator which transform to mechanism to perform specific task. Sensors are connected to mechanism to convert output into signal. Or sense output variable and transfer it to electronic device for amplification. And again it return to actuator with reduced error. This system covers mechanical signal into electronic signal. Objective of Mechatronics System R First objective is integration of mechanical systems with electronic and computer systems. Second objective is to improve efficiency of the system. Third objective is to reduce cost of production. Fourth objective is to achieve high accuracy and precision. Fifth objective is freezy control of the system. Sixth objective is customer satisfaction and comfort. Mechatronics has evolved through the following stages. Primary level mechatronics. Integrates electrical signaling with mechanical action at the basic control level. For example fluid valves and relay switches. Secondary level mechatronics. Integrates microelectronics into electrically controlled devices. For example cassette tape player. Tertiary level mechatronics. Incorporates advanced control strategy using microelectronics, microprocessors, and other application specific integrated circuits. For example microprocessor based electrical motor used for actuation purpose in robots. Quaternary level mechatronics. This level attempts to improve smartness a step ahead by introducing intelligence and fault detection and isolation capability into the system. For example artificial neural network and fuzzy logic technologies. The function of mechatronics engineer is design and prepare the machines and programming them by using the computer control systems electrical and mechanical system key elements of mechatronics are it consists of mechanical system electrical system mechanical elements refer to mechanical structure mechanism and hydraulic aspects of a mechatronics system the mechanical element may include static dynamic characteristics and it interacts with its environment purposefully the mechanical elements of mechatronics systems require physical power to produce motion force heat etc electronic elements refer to analog digital electronics transistors thyristors operational amplifiers power electronics and signal conditioning the electrical electronic elements are used to interface electromechanical sensors and actuators to the control interface hardware elements control interface computing hardware elements refer to analog to digital converter digital to analog converter digital input output counters timers microprocessor microcontroller data acquisition and control dac board and digital signal processing board the control interface hardware allows analog digital interfacing that is communication of sensor signal to the control computer and communication of control signal from the control computer to the actuator the control computing hardware implements a control algorithm which uses sensor measurements to compute control actions to be applied by the actuator computer elements refer to hardware software utilized to perform computer aided dynamic system analysis optimization design and simulation virtual instrumentation rapid control prototyping hardware in the loop simulation and pc based data acquisition and control 
Following are the applications of Mechatronics. Smart consumer products includes Home security Camera Microwave oven Toaster Dishwasher Laundry washer dryer Climate control units, etc. In medical field includes implant devices Assisted surgery, etc. In defense includes Unmanned air, ground, and underwater vehicles, smart munitions, jet engines, etc. In manufacturing industries includes robotics, machines, etc. In automotive, climate control, anti-lock brake, active suspension, cruise control, airbags, engine management, safety, etc. In network-centric, distributed systems, distributed robotics, telrobotics, intelligent highways, etc. Why to learn mechatronics? The answer is because of following advantages. 1. It has high level of integration. 2. Increased functionality and better design. 3. It has more use of electronics and software. 4. Use of artificial intelligence and intelligent process control. 5. Assume responsibility for a process and operation with little interference of operators. 6. Multisensory and programs environments. 7. The products produced are cost effective and very good quality. 8. High degree of flexibility. 9. Greater extent of machine utilization. 10. Greater productivity. 11. High life expected by proper maintenance. And 12. The integration of sensor and control system in a complex system reduces capital expenses. Every system having some disadvantages and different views. Disadvantages of Mechatronics system are 1. The initial cost is very high. 2. The complicated design and system. 3. The repair and maintenance is complex. 4. Its replacement is difficult. That it is difficult to change old system to new system. 5. Imperative to have knowledge of different engineering fields for design and implementation. 6. Specific problem of various systems will have to be addressed separate. Careers path for mechatronics engineer. There are many careers paths for mechatronics engineer. Like in automobile industries. Medical field. Material processing industries. Aerospace. Robotics etc. Here introductory part of mechatronics is completed. Thank you for listening carefully. For next part of unit first watch next videos on measurement system. Statics and dynamics characteristics. If you like this lecture click on like. Share to your friends. And subscribe for more videos.